morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. Welcome to another catch up of that demolition site. As you can see, a lot has gone on. A heck of a lot has gone on. There's even more. So it's gone down. The curtain wall has gone. And they're right on the edge there. And they're right up to the edge of the scar. As you can see right there, with all of that metal work that's there. So much of this has gone on now. There's a lot gone on. And this is, as I know some of you are probably going to get tired of hearing, and this is where the new market is going to be. And as you can see, right to the back wall, just over there, you can see right onto that back wall, one of the old buildings. Behind there, that is where Mickinson's Arcade goes down. Give you a bit of a better view from over here. See if I can just get my arm in here. See a bit more for over here. A lot has gone on from the time that I've uh, slightly been away in that week or so that I've not been at this end. But that's uh, going on quite well. Which, someone that loves to watch all of this, it's amazing. And my eyes have a bit of a reprieve in the weather for a little while as well. But it does seem like I've got some good weather. For a moment, not for long now, I'm thinking, but you never know. But I'm going to give you another view from over here since the long reach has started moving. Go over and give you a view of that, which I might actually have to go further over. But that is coming along stonking rate that is coming down absolutely insane so all of the site is just coming down so well just like mad trying to find a good position is difficult but hey that's all part of it Wow, that is coming down. All that curtain wall's definitely gone now. There's only scaff left. Uh, won't be long until they've all gone that way. This is coming down pretty quick. This is amazing. Spoiled for choice over here. Swap arms, my right arm being numb. Zoom in on the big one. Side. Pause. Wow. Just being able to view straight inside it is amazing as well. Still feel though that we're missing a bit of a trick now having some portals cut into some of these so we can see a little bit more of the action. see all this lot down here is uh, kind of uh, gone away. And for uh, 
those of you who are wondering or thinking, Foxy, where have you got your glasses on? Why you look like you just come from court? A uh, bit of a job interview, so um, yeah, two birds with one stone in it. Glasses are in the bag, they got on my nerves. Just look at me, uh, you know, hearing information too. Uh, but hey, it's all part of the fun though, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have a look at what's going on on the other side. Let's just have a look, ski, shall we? See if I can find anything otherwise. It will be pause for now. Pause. Just give you a little bit of a. for what's in here. Not a lot going on here right now, but won't be long until this is coming down since everything else is flying away. What? Oh. Rumour has it, either the old college building, which is stuck inside the park, or a building in amongst, somewhere in amongst like the actual like, college campus, will be uh, coming down at some point as well. Well, that's only a rumour that I've heard. Don't really know. It's only a rumour, so don't shoot me for that one. But, well, yep, apparently there's uh, mumblings of something possibly being pulled down on the campus side as well whether it is actually on the actual campus or whether it is the uh, old building like you know the old like catering and engineering block and that lot coming down because uh, that place is way beyond repair now and still you never know I'm still going to keep going on on my why don't we use the old turn the old market hall into an arena and utilize the space that we've got because the floor plan in there can deal with it. The roof is tall enough, you can do it. Moving if it was like you know 5,000 to you know 5,000 permanent and expandable to 10,000. Might be able to at least get something in there and we could use something of it because, well, as I've said many 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 times, this building's tall enough and there's nowhere near. This is old enough to be pulled down. It's as old as me. Now, who's aged? Who's aged better? This old place or this old face? You never see no. I better get at it before I get run over. Still gotta keep on saying this place really should be saved. Should be turned into an arena. Not apartments. And that's just my view. And while I'm walking, and every time I'm pausing, I'm still getting comments from some people saying that they uh, think that it is definitely a disgrace that the council decided to tear all this lot down. Yeah, all right, there was part of the building that needed a bit of work doing to it because it had been boarded off in derelict for a good while, but still. You could have possibly pulled that bit down and saved the rest, modified it a bit, changed it. Okay, yeah, maybe build the new market hall up there and turn this thing into something like an arena, like I keep saying, or you know, something else. But nope, pulling the whole damn lot down does um, have a little bit of a desperate moment. You know, just seems a little bit odd, especially with all the other stuff, but hey, that's just me wittering on. But hey, let's just see. And plus, now that they've uh, put out plans, sorry, plans for what they uh, feel that the uh, cinema is going to do, why so damn high and why all that bronze? It's gonna look just black. Come on, it's not needed. Even that fronting, you haven't even blended it in with, you know, like the, the plaster and wood, the black and whites, the badger colours, whatever. You know, you've not, you've just not blended it in. You've just stuck a modern thing in there with a bit of a, you know, a bit of a warped idea of what the frontage would look like. You've shaped it to fit in, but the colour scheme doesn't fit. 
so it's going to stand out and then you then cut you know then you want to clad it in all that bronze come on it's not gonna work that colors is just gonna just clash with the eyes it's not gonna work on the eye line either see it's gonna be taller than the top of that skylight it's gonna be at least another story or two taller you know it could possibly actually be as tall as the clock tower because it's gonna be as tall as the you know the supposed apartment blocks and everything else which is going to be around here which I don't think it's going to fit it ain't got fitted yeah okay we've got like you know blocks of flats over at Skulls and that but still it just doesn't seem like it's going to fit in you know that's my view on it anyway, is that I don't feel it's going to fit in. But I'll give you a look through here with what I can see, which this bit's going to be slowing down a bit because they're getting now to a more, like, obviously crucial part. Because the long, the big long reach has gone from this side and we've only got the other long reach over there. So obviously things are slowing down over here. It's still coming down though, because there's still a digger over here, it's doing some work. There's still diggers moving around and all sorts of other stuff, so there's still stuff going on around here. But this bit will not be long. This bit is not going to be long for the world. But yeah. So, it's like what? back of the cinema area and everything is going to be down here so all of the back of the cinema is going to be like from these hoardings onwards and then skywards which no come on I don't think that's going to fit very well but if there is anything that goes on in there it's going to uh, seem quite um, mishmash and everything. I mean, uh, I don't know. We've got a perfectly usable cinema site over by the stadium, which failed. Okay, yeah, the company went into into admin and went down, but all of the companies are suffering. So if there's going to be a cinema, why doesn't a company buy up the already existing cinema? Do we need two bowling alleys? No, we don't. Do we need a town centre hotel? No. Because the ones that we've already got aren't even utilised. So we don't need that. So I think someone, somewhere, in the bean campus has got something totally wrong. They've got all their ideas wrong. But hey, that's me. Anyway. I will put you on pause for a few minutes. I just go around the other side, we can check in there, and then we will be done. Pause. So, as you all know, all that was all black and white under there. Fits in with over there, and fits in with the buildings over there. The new idea where the cinema's going in, when you'll be able to uh, see the brick and bronze edifice climbing above the top of that once all of these frontages have gone. And all of that way through there has been demolished. They're going to put up another faux facade, but not bother putting in the black and white colours. They're going to imitate it and make it look like it'll fit in, but there isn't going to be, you know, like the intricate woodwork, and there isn't going to be any of the black and white colour. It's just going to be like a brown and grey beigey colours instead. You know, yeah, okay, there's going to be like shop fronts and stuff in front of it, but it's still not going to fit in totally. It is going to look a little bit like a mishmash, you know, because you've got all of like, you know, your mock Tudor frontage all the way there and where Vision Express is, and it cuts off and you've got B&M's. But even then, Royal Arcade has that, you know, that nice traditional black and white, you know, frontage on there. So that ain't quite going to fit in. Okay, yeah, okay, we've got sandstone buildings and we've got this old place. 
you know, which still needs some work doing. And we still need to find a tenant for this old place. Because that's another empty lot. And then we've still got up there. No more empty lots. You know? It looks well when you go past massive abandoned space, big abandoned space, huge demo site that no one knows whether they're actually not. Is any of this going to be completed? Who knows? To be honest, some of the later stages, I don't think it's actually going to happen. I don't think the flats are going in and I don't think the hotel's going to end up there. And if that cinema does get built, the building might get built, but I doubt anyone's going to sign that contract. We've already got a perfectly serviceable cinema building by the stadium. That should be priority one. We've already got the building, so you don't need to have another one. You know, we've already got a bowling alley. Invest in that. We don't need a secondary one. Nobody used the hotels massively. Apart from when it was like, you know, huge events. No one really used them, and even then. Corporate went elsewhere. Corporate went to all the upmarket places. So you didn't get all the corporate stuff in the middle of town. It never worked. You know? Yeah, we had the Mercure, that went down. <sighs> Do we... They didn't make much of a profit on that place. Okay, yeah, when the rugby was across the road from it, it was brilliant, but it wasn't exactly massively turning a profit once once all the rugby and everything went over to the side. So, it's a bit of proof that we don't need one. But, anyway, as you can see, more flooring areas have been uh, chipped away, more walls have come down. That place is still wide open. I think they're still working out whether they have to board it up or whether a company, another company or whatever has to do something with it but something's going on there and this is a massive space where all the new market hall and everything is going to be but whilst my throat holds on I will bid the adieu so I will sign out Peace. See you star side. See you in the stars. I will drive you crazy and have a fluff and good time. Goodbye.